Consistency is the secret weapon of champions, the hidden force behind every great achievement in history. It's not about grand gestures or occasional bursts of motivation. It's about showing up day after day, even when you don't feel like it, especially when you don't feel like it. Think about water, gently flowing water. It might seem harmless, even weak, but give it enough time and it can carve through solid rock, creating magnificent canyons that leave us in awe. That's the power of consistency. It's not about the force of a single action, but the relentless persistence of repeated efforts. Now, I want you to take a moment, close your eyes and picture your biggest goal, the one that makes your heart race, that fills you with excitement and maybe a little fear. Got it? Good. That goal, no matter how enormous it might seem, is nothing more than a series of small, consistent actions repeated over time. The greatest myth in personal development is the idea of overnight success. We love stories of instant transformation, of people who went from zero to hero in the blink of an eye. But let me tell you something. Those stories are just that, stories. The reality is far less glamorous, but infinitely more powerful. Success is built in the quiet moments when no one's watching. It's built in the early mornings when you drag yourself out of bed to hit the gym. It's built in the late nights when you're studying while others are sleeping. It's built in the countless small decisions you make every single day that align with your goals. Let me share a personal story. Years ago, I decided to write a book, not just any book, but one that would truly impact people's lives. Now, I could have waited for inspiration to strike, for that perfect moment when the words would flow effortlessly, but I knew better. Instead, I committed to writing 10,000 words every single day without fail. There were days when those words came easily when I felt on top of the world. But there were far more days when each word felt like pulling teeth, days when I wanted to do anything but write. Yet, I showed up. I sat in that chair and wrote those thousand words every single day with day after day, week after week, month after month. And you know what happened? That book became a bestseller, touching the lives of millions. But here's the key. It wasn't because I'm some writing genius. It was because I forced myself to be consistent. I built the habit of showing up no matter what. Now I can already hear some of you thinking, that's great for you, but I'm different. I don't have that kind of discipline. Let me stop you right there. Discipline isn't something you're born with. It's not a magical trait bestowed upon a chosen few. Discipline is a skill, and like any skill, it can be learned, practiced, and mastered. The journey to consistency starts with a simple decision, the decision to commit. Not to try, not to see how it goes, but to commit with every fiber of your being. It's about making a promise to yourself and treating that promise as sacred as the promises you make to others. If you tell your boss you will have a project done by Friday, you will move heaven and earth to make it happen. Why? because you have made a commitment and you value your word. Now, imagine if you treated the commitments you make to yourself with the same level of respect and urgency. That's where the magic happens. But commitment alone isn't enough. You need a plan. Vague goals lead to vague results. If you want to force yourself to be consistent, you need crystal clear objectives and a step-by-step -step roadmap to achieve them. Let's say your goal is to start a successful business. That's a great aim, but it's too broad. Break it down. What does successful mean to you? How much revenue by when? What steps do you need to take to get there? Maybe it's making 10 sales calls every day or spending two hours each evening on product development. Whatever your goal, break it down into daily, non-negotiable actions. These are your must-do actions. The steps you commit to taking no matter what. Rain or shine, tired or energized, busy or free. These actions happen. Now, here's where many people falter. They start strong, full of enthusiasm and determination, but then life happens. They miss a day, then two, then a week, and before they know it, they're back where they started, feeling defeated and discouraged. This is where the real test of consistency comes in. It's not about being perfect, it's about being persistent. If you fall off track, you get right back on. No guilt, no self-pity, no excuses. You acknowledge the slip, learn from it, and move forward. Remember. Consistency isn't about heroic efforts or Herculean feats of willpower. It's about small, manageable actions repeated day after day. It's about progress, not perfection. Our lives are essentially the sum of our habits. The small, often unconscious decisions we make every day 
shape our reality more than any single grand gesture ever could. You don't wake up each morning and have an internal debate about whether or not to do it. You just do it. It's automatic, ingrained, a non-negotiable part of your routine. That's the power of a habit. Now imagine if you could harness that same automatic response for actions that move you toward your goals. Imagine if working out, making sales calls, or writing became as automatic as brushing your teeth. That's the transformative power of consistency. They take time to form. There's a popular myth that it takes 21 days to form a new habit, but the reality is it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days with an average of 66 days. That's over two months of consistent action before a behavior becomes automatic. This is where most people give up. They don't see immediate results, so they assume it's not working. But remember the water carving through rock. Change happens slowly, almost imperceptibly at first, but over time, those small consistent actions add up to a massive transformation. So how do you stay motivated during this crucial period? How do you force yourself to be consistent when you are not seeing immediate results? First, you need to understand that motivation is fleeting. It comes and goes like the tide. If you rely solely on motivation to drive your actions, you are setting yourself up for failure. Instead, you need to build systems that make consistency the path of least resistance. One powerful system is the concept of habit stacking. This involves linking a new habit you want to form with an existing habit you already have. For example, if you want to start meditating daily, you might decide to do it right after you brush your teeth in the morning. By anchoring the new habit to an established one, you increase the likelihood of following through. Another crucial system is your environment. We often underestimate how much our surroundings influence our behavior. If you want to eat healthier, Keeping junk food in the house is setting yourself up for failure. If you want to read more, leaving books scattered around your living space makes it easier to pick one up. Look at your environment with a critical eye. Is it supporting your goals or hindering them? Make changes, even small ones, to create an environment that nudges you toward consistency. Perfectionism. Many of us have this idea that if we can't do something perfectly, it's not worth doing at all. This all-or-nothing thinking is a surefire path to inconsistency and failure. The truth is, imperfect action trumps perfect inaction every single time. If your goal is to exercise for an hour every day and one day you only have 15 minutes, those 15 minutes are infinitely better than doing nothing. If you are trying to eat healthier and you slip up and have a slice of pizza, that doesn't negate all your other healthy choices. Consistency isn't about being perfect. It's about being persistent. It's about getting back on track immediately when you slip up, rather than using one mistake as an excuse to abandon your efforts entirely. This brings us to another crucial point, the importance of tracking your progress. When you are working towards a long-term goal, it's easy to lose sight of how far you have come. This is where consistent tracking becomes invaluable. Keep a journal, use an app, create a spreadsheet. The method doesn't matter as much as the act itself. Track your daily actions, your small wins, your challenges. This serves two purposes. First, it keeps you accountable. It's harder to skip a day when you know you will have to face that blank space in your tracker. Second, and perhaps more importantly, it provides tangible evidence of your progress. On days when you are feeling discouraged, when it seems like you are not moving forward, you can look back and see just how far you have come. This can be incredibly motivating and can help you push through tough times. If you want to achieve great things, you need to get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Growth happens outside your comfort zone, and consistency often means pushing through discomfort. There will be days when you don't feel like showing up, days when the couch seems infinitely more appealing than the gym, when scrolling through social media feels easier than working on your business plan. These are the moments that define you. Champions are made in these moments of choice. When you choose to act in spite of how you feel, you are building more than just consistency. You are building character. You are proving to yourself that you are capable of following through, that your word to yourself matters. This is where the real power of forcing yourself to be consistent comes in. It's not just about achieving your goals, although that's certainly part of it. It's about becoming the kind of person who achieves their goals.
It's about transforming your self-image and your belief in what you are capable of. Every time you follow through on a commitment to yourself, you are building self-trust. You are proving to yourself that you are reliable, that you do what you say you will do. This self-trust is invaluable. It gives you the confidence to set bigger goals, to take on greater challenges because you know you have the consistency to see things through. But what about when things get really tough? What about when life throws you a curveball and your carefully crafted routines get disrupted? This is where the rubber meets the road, where true consistency is tested. The key here is flexibility. Consistency doesn't mean rigidity. It doesn't mean doing exactly the same thing every day no matter what. It means staying committed to your goals and finding ways to move forward, even if the path looks different than you expect. Maybe you usually go to the gym every morning, but you are traveling for work. Instead of using that as an excuse to skip exercise entirely, you find ways to work out in your hotel room. Maybe you usually spend two hours every evening working on your side business, but you have a family emergency. Instead of abandoning your efforts, you find 30 minutes somewhere in your day to keep the momentum going. This kind of adaptability is crucial for long-term consistency. Life will always throw challenges your way. The consistent person isn't the one who never faces obstacles. It's the one who finds ways to keep moving forward despite them. The idea that it's boring, that it stifles creativity or spontaneity, couldn't be further from the truth. Consistency provides a foundation that allows for true creativity to flourish. When you are consistent with the basics, when you have built strong habits and routines, you free up mental energy for higher level thinking. When you don't have to expend willpower deciding whether or not to exercise or debating whether to work on your goals, you have more cognitive resources available for problem solving, innovation, and creativity. Moreover, consistency in your craft, whether that's writing, painting, coding, or any other skill, is what allows you to push boundaries and break new ground. The most innovative artists, entrepreneurs, and thinkers are often those who show up day after day, honing their skills and pushing their limits. So if you are worried that forcing yourself to be consistent will make you boring or predictable, think again. Consistency is the springboard that launches you to new heights of achievement and creativity. This is where the magic really happens. Small, consistent actions repeated over time lead to exponential growth. It's like compound interest for your life. Imagine you're trying to lose weight. You commit to eating 500 fewer calories each day. That might not seem like much, and indeed you might not see dramatic results in the first week or two. But over a year, that's 182, 500 fewer calories. That's significant life-changing progress. Or consider learning a new skill. If you commit to practicing for just one hour a day, every day, that's 365 hours over the course of a year. That's enough time to go from complete novice to impressive proficiency in almost any skill. This compound effect applies to every area of life. Your relationships improve with consistent small acts of kindness. Your finances grow with consistent saving and investing. Your knowledge expands with consistent reading and learning. The key is to trust the process, to have faith that your small consistent actions are adding up even when you can't see immediate results. This is where many people falter. They give up just before their efforts are about to pay off dramatically. Remember, success is never linear. It often follows what's known as the hockey stick curve. You put in consistent effort for a long time, seeing minimal visible progress. Then suddenly, almost overnight, things take off exponentially. But that sudden success is built on the foundation of all those days of showing up, of forcing yourself to be consistent. Self-compassion. When we talk about forcing yourself to be consistent, it might sound harsh. It might evoke images of a drill sergeant pushing you relentlessly, but that's not what we are aiming for here. True consistency comes from a place of self-respect and self-love. It's about caring enough about yourself and your dreams to show up day after day. It's about treating yourself with the same kindness and understanding you'd offer a good friend. This means celebrating your wins, no matter how small. It means acknowledging your efforts even on days when the results aren't what you hoped for. And yes, it means forgiving yourself when you slip up, because you will slip up. We all do. The goal isn't perfection. The goal is progress. The goal is to build a lifestyle of consistency 
where showing up for yourself and your goals is just what you do, as natural as breathing. So how do you start? How do you begin this journey of consistency? You start right where you are with what you have. You don't need any special equipment or particular circumstances. You just need to decide right here, right now, that you are going to commit to consistency. Choose one area of your life where you want to see improvement. Set a small, achievable daily goal. Maybe it's writing 100 words, doing 10 push-ups, or making one sales call. Whatever it is, make it so small that it feels almost impossible to fail. Then commit to doing that one small thing every single day for the next 30 days, no matter what, rain or shine, busy or free, tired or energized. You do that one thing. At the end of those 30 days, you will have built more than just a streak. You will have built proof. Proof that you can be consistent. Proof that you can follow through on your commitments to yourself. And that proof is priceless. It's the foundation upon which you can build greater and greater achievements. From there, you can expand, add another small consistent action, or gradually increase the challenge of your existing commitment. But always remember the power is in the consistency, not in the size of the action. Remember that you are not alone. Throughout history, every great achiever has walked this path. They've all faced the same doubts, the same temptations to give up, the same challenges that you will face. The difference is they persisted. They forced themselves to be consistent day after day, year after year. And in doing so, they transformed not just their circumstances, but themselves. They became the kind of people who achieve great things. You have that same potential within you right now. At this very moment, you have everything you need to start. You have the ability to make a decision to commit to consistency, to begin transforming your life one small action at a time. What will you commit to today? What small consistent action will you take that will compound over time into extraordinary results? Whatever it is, decide now, commit now, and then, most importantly, start now. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step, but it's the consistency of those steps, day after day, that carries you to your destination. Your journey to greatness, to achieving your biggest dreams, starts with a decision to be consistent. It's not about waiting for the perfect moment or for everything to align just right. It's about making the choice right here and now to take control of your life through the power of consistency. Understanding why it's so powerful can help you harness its full potential. Our brains are wired to seek patterns and routines. It's a survival mechanism that has served us well throughout human evolution. When we establish consistent behaviors, we are essentially creating neural pathways in our brains. The more we repeat these behaviors, the stronger these pathways become. This is why forcing yourself to be consistent is so transformative. You are not just changing your actions, you are literally rewiring your brain. You are creating new default behaviors that, over time, become as natural as breathing. This rewiring process isn't always comfortable. In fact, it can be downright uncomfortable at times. Your brain, in its effort to conserve energy, will resist change. It will try to pull you back to your old, familiar patterns. This is where the force to enforce yourself to be consistent comes into play. You need to push through this initial resistance. It's like launching a rocket into space. The most energy is required at the beginning to break free from Earth's gravitational pull. Once you are in orbit, it becomes much easier to maintain your course. This is why the early days of building consistency are so crucial. You need to muster all your will, all your determination to push through those initial days or weeks when your new behaviors feel unnatural or difficult. But I promise you, if you can push through this initial phase, it gets easier, much easier. When you force yourself to be consistent in one area of your life, it often spills over into other areas. It's as if you are flexing a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets, and the more you can apply that strength to other tasks. For example, let's say you commit to consistently waking up at 5 a.m. every day to work on your side business. At first, it's just about that one specific goal, but over time, you might notice that this consistency has improved your overall time management skills. 
You might find yourself being more punctual for appointments or more efficient in your day job. This ripple effect can transform your entire life. It's not just about achieving one specific goal. It's about becoming a more disciplined, focused, and effective person overall. And that, my friends, is priceless. But let's be real for a moment. There will be times when consistency feels like an uphill battle. There will be days when you question whether it's worth it when you are tempted to throw in the towel and go back to your old, comfortable ways. These moments are crucial. They are the crossroads where many people give up, where dreams are abandoned, and where potential remains unfulfilled. But they are also the moments where champions are made. In these moments of doubt, I want you to remember why you started. Remember that initial vision you had for your life when you first committed to consistency. Envision the incredible person you are becoming, the goals you're achieving, and the life you are creating through your unwavering efforts. Remember, doubt kills more dreams than failure ever will. Failure is merely feedback, a tool for you to adjust your approach. But doubt, doubt is the silent killer of ambition. It whispers insidious lies, telling you that you aren't good enough, that your dreams are too big, that consistency is too hard. Don't listen to that voice. Instead, tune in to the voice of your future self, the one who has achieved those dreams through consistent effort. This voice urges you to keep going, to push through, to persist, even when, especially when, it's difficult. Does the idea of being consistent sometimes feel overwhelming? Does the gap between where you are now and where you want to be seem impossibly wide? This is where micro-commitments come into play. A micro-commitment is a tiny, almost ridiculously easy action that nudges you toward your goal. It's so small that it bypasses your brain's resistance to change. For example, if your goal is to run a marathon, your micro-commitment might be simply to put on your running shoes every day. That's it. Just put them on. Once they're on, you're much more likely to step outside. Once outside, you're more likely to start walking. Before you know it, you're jogging. By focusing on these tiny, consistent actions, you build momentum. And momentum, my friends, is a force to be reckoned with. It turns a small snowball into an unstoppable avalanche. Beware of the all-or-nothing mentality. This mindset tells you that if you can't do something perfectly, you shouldn't do it at all. It insists that missing one day of your new habit means failure, so you might as well give up. This mentality poisons consistency, setting unrealistic expectations and paving the way for disappointment. Perfection isn't the goal. Progress is. Instead of aiming for perfect consistency, embrace what I call imperfect consistency. This means showing up most of the time, doing your best each day, and quickly getting back on track if you slip up. Remember, it's not the occasional slip that derails your progress, but the decision to quit after a slip. If you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. Simply acknowledge it, learn from it if there's a lesson, and get back on track the next day. This resilience, this ability to bounce back, is crucial for long-term consistency. It's what separates those who achieve their goals from those who don't. Identity is one of the most powerful ways to build consistency. Tie your actions to who you are. Instead of saying, I want to write a book, say, I am a writer. Instead of saying, I want to get in shape, say, I am an athlete. This shift in language, though small, is incredibly powerful. When you define yourself as a writer, an athlete, or an entrepreneur, you are much more likely to take consistent actions that align with that identity. Ask yourself, who do you need to become to achieve your goals? What identity do you need to adopt? Once you've answered those questions, start acting as if you already are that person. Force yourself to be consistent with that identity. Your actions will gradually shape your self-image, and your self-image will drive your actions, creating a powerful upward spiral of consistency and achievement. Forcing yourself to be consistent is not just about constant action or relentless pushing. Sustainability is key, and it involves building in periods of rest and recovery. Just as an athlete needs rest days to allow their muscles to recover and grow stronger, you need time to recharge your mental and emotional batteries. This doesn't mean taking long breaks from your habits. Instead, it means incorporating rest and recovery into your routine. Perhaps it's a daily meditation practice or a weekly day off from usual tasks. Whatever it is, make it as non-negotiable as your productive actions. True consistency 
is about sustainability, creating habits and routines you can maintain over the long haul. Burning out in the name of consistency is counterproductive. Consistency and rest and recovery is just as vital as productive action. As we conclude, I want to leave you with a powerful exercise. Close your eyes for a moment. Imagine yourself one year from now after a year of unwavering consistency. See yourself as the person who showed up day after day, even when it was hard. The one who pushed through doubt and discomfort, turning consistency into their superpower. What does that version of you look like? How do they carry themselves? What have they achieved? How do they feel about themselves and their life? Really let yourself feel the pride, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment from a year of consistent effort. Now, open your eyes. That future version of you is not just a fantasy. It's a very real possibility. In fact, it's more than a possibility. It's an inevitability if you commit to consistency starting right now. The power to transform your life is in your hands, in the small, consistent actions you take every day. It's in your ability to force yourself to be consistent, even when it's difficult. What will you commit to today? What consistent action will you take starting right now that will compound over time into extraordinary results? Decide now. Commit now. Start now. Your journey to greatness, to achieving your biggest dreams, begins with the decision to be consistent. That decision is yours to make here and now. The future you dream of is waiting. All you have to do is show up consistently, day after day. Force yourself to be consistent. Your future self will thank you for it.